What's up everybody, my name is Dark Jeswick, and today we are building a virtual oasis in the springs. I wanted to rebuild the park lot in Oasis Springs as a spa because I think it's the perfect location for one. Especially in Oasis Springs, your sims are going to be going there for vacations because it's usually always very nice there in the winter. Um, it is actually winter in my game, you'll see that when I start playtesting it. Uh, it actually starts snowing. Uh, but your sims can come here and relax, do some yoga, uh, visit the sauna, and get their nails done. Um, it's been a while since I've actually built a spa in the sims, um, so I thought it was time to uh, do that again. I use the uh, lockers from Growing Together, and some spa day showers, and I'm just getting all the required items in here. I find that it's easier to get all the required items in a build before I actually start uh, finishing and starting the build. So, um, yeah. Um, I got a little room over here for the spa. I end up moving it. Uh, You can see here I'm just creating a little sauna room. I ended up bringing it in a little bit, and then I put some bamboo uh, decorations in the back of it. I was just going to make this one big bathroom, and then I decided to just make it into two different bathrooms, because I thought that would give your sims a little bit more privacy. It is just neutral, uh, gender neutral, because sims are just going to walk in on each other anyway. Uh, so I figured that will just prevent it. Down. It's also kind of funny when they walk in each other. Uh, and just getting an extra space here. I was going to do just two massage tables, uh, but I ended up putting the massage tables and two nail salon uh, pieces in there. You can see now I'm placing those uh, bamboo things. Uh, wall room dividers, I want to say they are. They're bamboo room dividers. And uh, I just wanted them behind the sauna because I didn't really know how to decorate the sauna, but um, I figured that would be a good way to do that. Um, I was just going to make two massage table rooms and then I was going to do a separate area for nails. I wanted the rooms to be like an even size, so I just kind of extended that one room out a little tiny bit more. Um, I'm putting in a stairwell here um, in the middle of the room, just kind of like behind, so it kind of like hides the bathroom and the lockers. And um, you need to obviously access the um, yoga room, so I put this big staircase in there. Um, you can see that the uh, yoga room. Uh, hangs over the edge. I really wanted to make like a very dramatic entrance to this spa. Uh, you can see now that I'm getting the nail salon chairs. I don't often give my sims like colored nails or anything like that because I don't really think about it, but it's something that you can do uh, as like a gameplay option just for uh, if your sims like go on a vacation or something like that, I think that would be cool. Uh, I have the bar in there now. A uh, bartender will show up when you have uh, this in live mode. Uh, I really wanted to use these big pillars from Spy Day too. Um, I think they go very well with the color of the walls that we have. And um, I really wanted it to kind of blend in with the surroundings, uh, the rocks and everything, because I wanted the plants to really stand out when you're looking at this build, uh, just like in gameplay. Uh, I got some windows here on the building. I wanted you to be able to look out over the oasis. Uh, you can kind of see that in the thumbnail. It kind of just looks down over the pools, uh, which took me forever. I am not joking, you guys. It took me about an hour and a half to figure out the shape of those pools. The, it, this whole build itself took me about five hours to do. Um, and I... Yeah, it took me so long to figure out the shape of the pool. It was, I was getting so frustrated because it just didn't look right. And I wanted to have these cool little islands uh, 
that your sims could like swim out to and sit on and I oh gosh I can't wait for you guys to see this when it's done it's so cool uh, I hope your sims really like it I know that the sims that I play tested this with kind of did uh, I used uh, Miss Dina Caliente the old one not the new one that they have updated which I honestly think they look so much better now I am kind of disappointed that they gave Nina that hair though I'm surprised they didn't like change it to something different um, maybe I'll go in and um, give them a little makeover myself because I have some plans for y'all um, coming up for a little fun thing with the Calientes here after they got their refresh I'm just adding in a little fish tank here um, but yeah, I'm very excited for the little series that I have coming up for you guys. I think it's going to be really fun. I hope you guys really enjoy the build that I made for it because it took me so long to figure out how the floor plan is. And I know I always say that. Like I've been like, oh, it takes me so long to do this build. But it really does. Um, sometimes I can spend like two or three days on a build. And that's about how long it took me to finish the build for uh, my little series coming up here. It's not really a secret, but I... Uh, I'm very excited about it. You can see here I'm just getting in these sh shelves that have like these uh, I'm assuming it's protein powder or something and like supplements in the background uh, so your sims can like you know quote unquote buy them when you're they're at the spa. Uh, I grabbed the pink bar stools from Dream Home Decorator and I ended up using some pink chairs from Dream Home Decorator also just for a little seating area while your sims can wait for a yoga class or grab a little um, juice and relax. I would totally come here myself if I was a sim. I would enjoy the luxury of the spa. Oh, those um, Desert Lux curtains match perfectly with the chairs, so I put those in here too. Put them all over. And, um, yeah, grabbing some towels from, I want to say the outdoor kit or snowy escape, I can't remember. Um, and then putting in some end tables from Spotted and uh, grabbing some little incense burners just to put in every single room so your sims can light them and be even more relaxed. Uh, I love those tables from Spotted, these like uh, accent tables here. I ended up putting a ton of clutter on them. Uh, you can see I'm putting the, just kind of grabbing a little bit of everything so that I can, you know, distribute the clutter from room to room and make it look like, you know, maybe your sims have like some oils and some perfumes for when they're relaxing. Uh, these ones here I think are from the bathroom clutter kit and I really like them. I like the bathroom clutter bathroom clutter kit. Uh, I grabbed some shoes here. I think I ended up just deleting them. I didn't think they really made that a whole bunch of sense. Uh, maybe they do because they're, you can get like a man pedicure or something like that in there, but uh, oh wait, I think I did leave them, yeah. Uh, and then I'm making this little closet up here for like some extra yoga mats and also because I really didn't really know what to do with that little bump out there and I didn't want to like get rid of it because I thought you know, why not make it into a little closet? Um, and then I ended up putting like the sign on the outside over there because the way that the gallery picture for this lot is set up, it's actually backwards. So um, I put a another logo behind the building so that you could see it from the gallery. Uh, grabbing some speakers here so that you can turn on some focus music and you know, get your sims in a focus moodlet, uh, grab the spot A tables here. I was going to put four chairs at each table, but it just looked way too cluttered. Um, like your sims wouldn't be able to walk around it too well, or and I want like everything to be very easily routable for your sims, so I ended up just putting uh, those two tables right there. And then I'm getting some wallpaper and I use these steamy slats here for the sauna because I think that's what you're supposed to do. They're like steamy slats for a reason. Um, 
And then I put this wo uh, stone on the outside, not this eco lifestyle one, I was just kind of testing how it looked. Um, this you can see is just like a brown stone. Uh, and then the plants, I went overboard on <laughs> these hanging plants here. I put them like everywhere on the outside of this building because like I said earlier, I really wanted the plants to stand out from the building and the building itself to just kind of disappear into the landscape. So uh, I spent a lot of time just kind of getting these together and like it also looks so cool from the inside because your sims are just like looking out through these wall of plants. Um, grabbed a couple of these little signs and put them out front and grabbed the bigger sign and just kind of sized it up and put it on the front of the building and yeah just really went in on the landscaping and hanging plants because the outside of the building is just really plain and you know plants really just bring everything to life um, I'm creating the entryway here and I wanted to wanted it to be like super overgrown like the rest of the building so that you just like walk into this uh, like overhang of plants here and then we should be getting into the pool uh, right about now um, yeah, it took me a while to get the shape down for this pool, but in the end I think I figured it out. Um, I'm trying to create like those little bump out islands there so that I could put a bunch of landscaping on them so that your sims can, you know, swim out there and just relax and be by themselves or be with their partner. Uh, Yeah, um, this part was like, I was trying to make it like even on both sides so that it looked uh, very uniform. And yeah, now I'm just getting some more landscaping. I really like these little trees from Island Adventure. No, not Island Adventure. Island Living. And <laughs> I used a lot of plants from Island Living and Jungle Adventure because the base game is really lacking in like desert or like tropical themed plants so it was really hard to just use like the aloe plants or the base game palm trees without like without them just looking like super plain uh, and plus we already used all the like hanging uh, plants from on the building from Jungle Adventure so we might as well just use you know all the plants from Jungle Adventure. Uh, <laughs> this is one of these little islands that I was mentioning before. I grabbed a bunch of trees because I wanted it to be like shady and uh, cool for your sims to just kind of sit on and relax. I tested out the like how the shade reacts with the light in the game too. And then I grabbed that cute little bear from Growing Together. I think it is so adorable and almost like your sim maybe brought like one of their kids here and they just kind of like left it or forgot it. And, and it's also just a really cute decoration piece too. Right now I'm creating the cabana area for your sims to just kind of sit out by the pool and maybe fall asleep and take a nap or tan. Uh, yeah. I tried to use these uh, umbrellas from Seasons and they just didn't look right uh, there. But I'm getting some uh, pool floaties right now because I thought those were really cool. And some ladders and some diving boards. Uh, I was really having a hard time placing the diving boards. They just like didn't want to like stay on the ground. They would just like jump up and disappear. So I had to spend a long time trying to figure out where I could put those where they wouldn't do that. Um, and I grabbed some of these bubblers from Get Together too, because I thought that they would look cool in the water. There we go, I found a place for the diving board. Got the little whale floaty because I think that is just so cute, I love it so much. Uh, grabbed a couple of those spa logos, just so they were there. and just really started doing some more landscaping and uh, yeah, grabbed the 
umbrellas from Seasons, and I was just like, I don't know if I like those. I end up switching them to something else later on in the video once I get everything back in. Oh, those Chalolos are so cool. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking about putting them in there, but I like hovered over it for a good five minutes, <laughs> thinking like, where could I fit this in, but I can't. It's not that kind of spa. <laughs> uh, it's it's not a bread spa. It's a sim spa. So, but I use that like in probably all of my builds now because I think it like is so cute. I love using like the fruit cake stands and things like that. And the, there's like a, a fr like a dessert tray from Get Together that I use all the time too. I love using things like that because I think it makes the Sims look so much more like lived in. Um, and it gives so much more of a storyline to your sims too. Just grabbing these uh, gardenia bushes, I want to say they are. They're like Haitian, Haitian gardenia bushes, I think is what they said. I'm not entirely sure. Ta Tahitian, not Haitian, Tahitian gardenia bushes is what the description says. Um, Oh, gosh, I'm using these little bushes again. I love those things. Um, and I like the leaning palm tree because it really gives like that oasis kind of feeling where they're just like bogged down from water or something. I know that's probably just how they grow. I'm not from a place that has palm trees. I uh, live in Michigan, so we don't have any palm trees. We don't even have you know, warm weather as it is right now. It has been freezing here in Michigan. Uh, like, we had one week of like 75, you know, 80 degree weather, and then it has been cold for the last like month and a half. And I'm actually dying inside because I would love to just visit Oasis Springs, but as you can see, in, like when I'm testing it, it is snowing in Oasis Springs, so. I guess I'm not that lucky <laughs> when it comes to having warm weather. Uh, oh, I love these little Exora trees too. I think I think that's what they're called. Um, There's so many different trees in this game. I can't remember the name of all of them. Oh, I love that one with the flowers on it too, and the uh, little coconut tree. I think. And this island is actually just for like a little meditation stool. Your sims can come out here, just be by themselves, listen to the water, and um, just meditate. It'll make some great like photo opportunities for your sims. And that's something I try to do too, is like get some like good screenshots spots for everyone to like take s pictures of their sims if they want to for thumbnails or whatever. Uh, <laughs> I end up putting a woohoo bush, you can see that over there in the corner. I made it a lot pri like private, if your sims come here to get like a fertility massage, um, they can you can bring your sims partner here and just woohoo um, in the bush and you know see if you can get twins or triplets if that's something you're interested in. I know uh, James Turner was recently trying to get triplets in one of his let's plays, so he kept going to the massage. Uh, the massage therapy sessions and getting the fertility massage um, which was really funny and then he ended up getting like twins and then he had to cheat it back because he got triplets when he was testing it I think that is so funny the game is just <laughs> right there to just mess up everything <laughs> all the time um, I'm just grabbing even more of these bushes to create and I ended up creating a little um, custom sign in the front there you can't see it I didn't I cut it out um, because it was just it took me a while to like get the sign placed exactly right so I just cut it out um, and um, yeah I'm starting to work on the landscaping over on the other side of the pool right now um, and working on the little woohoo bush area I um, try to make it a little bit more private even though it is like right in the middle of everything um i don't think your sims care though so they might but i don't it doesn't matter <laughs> it's the sims um 
yeah, I just got some landscaping, some bushes, some cactuses here, and um, yeah, it was really fun to build this. Uh, I love using these little, uh, these, well, they're not little, they're big plants, the with the leaves. Um, grab the gravel tile and use that under the wo the woohoo bush and a little bit under the bushes themselves because I didn't really add any like terrain paint I didn't know how that would like look in the sand and I usually don't really add a lot ton of like landscaping or terrain paint when I'm doing um, Oasis Springs build especially when it's like sand already um, doing the entrance again here just adding a bunch of plants and flowers to make it look nice and so your sims don't just like walk away from there. I just yawned, I'm sorry. Um, yep, just getting even more plants so that your sims actually like e either use the pool ladders or just don't walk like right under the uh, awning there. I wanted them to like actually go out by the like chairs and things before they got in the pool. And I also didn't want this area to look like super plain without any landscaping, so I put a couple of these bushes in here too. And um, it really finished that area, I think. Um, just adding a couple little bushes here and there. Uh, this is where I switched out the uh, umbrellas for the cabanas. And then here we are in game. We have Dina Caliente here, the old one. And she's just marching her way to the locker rooms. I have no idea what she's wearing for her cold weather outfit, by the way. This is just what she randomized in because before the update, they had no hot or cold weather outfits. So she's got some dancing shoes on and some bright red leggings. Um, this is the spa room, the nail room here. She has a bad moolet from being in the locker room. I did go fec I went and fixed it off camera. Um, this is the spa bar area. See, there's a bartender there just waiting to serve up some juice. Um, we're going to go upstairs into the spa area here and do some yoga. Uh, we're going to ask our yoga teacher to start a class. And there we go. Um, we have a celebrity with us in yoga, so, um, is that Cassandra Goth? So, so, is, she the sp uh, that, that. <laughs> is she the paparazzi Cassandra Goth? Um, there we go, we're just starting our little class, we're waiting for him over there from the Besties household in Mortimer. So we're just doing some nice yoga, I got some plants in here from Eco Lifestyle, and the, uh, Dino Room Divider. Oh, that's not Cassandra Groff. Um, I thought it was. It looks a lot like her. But, um, yeah. I hope you guys all enjoyed this build. I know I did. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of my new videos. And I hope you had a wonderful day, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Hap have a great day, <laughs> and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.